Jin Jin. Hello everybody, today I wanted to do something that I've never done before on this channel and it's a style of video that I have seen a lot of recently and I really enjoy watching them so I was like, well yeah, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna film that because I think you guys would find it really useful and also I don't know, there's something about them that I find enjoyable, so maybe you will too. And it's the kind of video where um, YouTubers kind of sit down and chat through things they've either been kindly gifted or that they've purchased that are new on the beauty scene. Some of the things I get sent never um, get shared with you when, in actual fact, you could have seen it and gone, that would have been perfect for me, damn it. Which I think is kind of the purpose for these types of videos, so I get to show you them before I've tried them, and it's kind of like a first impressions, this is what's new out kind of video. I'm not gonna sit here and talk through a huge disclaimer, I feel like we're all grown up enough around here now and we all know how this works, not showing off, not being paid, blah blah blah. That was my disclaimer. Best disclaimer on the internet. So, without further ado, these are some things that I have received recently that I wanted to share with you that I am super excited about. The first handful of things are from Too Faced, which you guys know is one of my favourite brands, and whenever I receive a package from them, I get so excited because I feel like their um, releases are really innovative, they always look adorable, and I actually genuinely get excited to see what they've done next. And when this arrived, I wanted to cry with joy. I was so excited. This is the Too Faced Sweet Peach. Smells like peaches palette. Firstly, I love the Too Faced palettes anyway. Nala? I just heard her. Where is she? I love the consistency of the eyeshadows. I love how easily they blend and I love the colour combinations that they come up with, let alone the fact that each palette has like a kind of theme to it. So they've had chocolate scented palettes, they've had peanut butter and jelly scented palettes, which is one of my faves. Oh my god, I haven't put that in a favourites. So you can guess what this smells like. It smells of peaches. I don't know what benefit a scented eyeshadow has. <laughs> besides the fact that it's kind of quite novelty and it makes it a little bit more interesting. Because I have blue eyes, this is the sort of palette that I go crazy for because anything with slightly orangey undertones to it brings out the blue in my eyes. So when I saw this palette with all its like gorgeous shades, like Bellini is just beautiful. Luscious looks amazing. There are always a couple of colours in a palette that I, I probably wouldn't use that much, so for me it's the purples down this end. But the rest are so beautiful, and I think that this would be so lovely with a tan, like after holiday, so I think this is for sure going on holiday with me. You have no idea the temptation of leaving these things in the packaging so that I could film this video to show you before ripping the packaging off and using it. Also have these. This is the Sweethearts Blush. Um, in sparkling Bellini. I believe I have one of these, but it is not in the peach shades. Um, it looks like this. In fact, you guys have seen me use the other one of these that I had quite a lot because I do like it. Um, but look how gorgeous the colours are in this. Again, with a tan on holiday, this is just going to be beautiful. I'm so excited about this. So, very excited. Oh! <laughs> Bronzer! says a bronzer baked with love so these are created with two shades that combine for a multi-dimensional radiant bronze that always looks natural or use each shade alone for a luminous contoured bronze I just love the packaging oh it's just i don't like ever want to destroy the Too faced packaging it's so beautiful really lovely bronzer colors though love that excited to try that now this seemed very interesting to me. This is a mascara melt-off cleansing oil, waterproof mascara dissolver. I don't wear a lot of waterproof mascara only because of the huge amounts of effort it takes to try and get it off at the end of the day. Um, and also there's just not one that I love, apart from this one, which I'll be showing you in a minute. But this has such a cool like concept, so get out the packaging. Looks like this, so it's in a tube, and you actually brush it through your lashes to like dissolve the mascara off your lashes. I think that's genius. 
firstly just because I mean I haven't used it so I don't know if it works but firstly just because you know when you're really trying to get waterproof mascara off you end up really rubbing your eye like rubbing it raw sometimes so I think something like this could essentially be exactly what we need you literally put it on like a mascara and then like gently rub it away and I just feel like it it does that vigorous bit instead do you know what I mean that didn't make any sense <laughs> as I mentioned didn't have a waterproof mascara that I loved until Too Faced decided to make Better Than Sex, which is one of my fave mascaras, waterproof. Just generally, I'd love to know in what circumstances you choose to wear a waterproof mascara over a regular mascara. Is it because you do swimming classes? Is it because you do exercise? Is it because you are outside quite a lot, so if it rains? I don't know, I'd just like to know in what circumstance you would be like, better wear my waterproof if you're going to watch a sad film. I have actually used this. I used this the other day because I was too impatient and I wanted to see if it was similar to Better Than Sex, which it is. Amazing. I really like this. Obviously just a lot more difficult to get off. And the last thing by Too Faced that I have to show you is this, which is the Too Faced Royal Oil Coconut Oil Body Bronzer with Mangosteen Extract. Wow. Again, like holiday tastic. <laughs> is that a word? Oh god, that's like the lamest thing I've ever said. How does this work? Is that a stopper? Okay. Oh my god, it smells of holiday. Anything with that like amazing coconut smell, just oh, I love it. This would be perfect for arms and legs if you're going to an evening event. So there you go. OPI nail polish. Now I actually think OPI is an amazing brand for nail polish. My mum who works with nails, she's like a nail, nail beautician or nail technician or whatever it's called, she always uses OPI. OPI are her favourites. And they have released a soft shades pastel collection. So there's six different shades in here. Um, you've got a gorgeous baby blue which is called I Am... I am what I amethyst. Huh? The next one is this kind of pastel yellow and that's called One Chic Chick. Then we've got this gorgeous pastel mint, which I think I might have to paint my nails this colour once I end this video. And this is This Cost Me a Mint. I like that. This one, which is a really pretty pastel kind of peachy pink, and that's Stop, I'm Blushing. This one, which is a pastel blue, oh, it's called It's a Boy. And this one, which is a kind of milky white, and that's called It's in the Clouds. So if you're anything like me and you like more pastel shades, I think you're gonna really love the colors in that collection. OPI, I think we're just feeling extremely generous. Um, they've also sent me their collection, which coincides with the launch of the Alice Through the Looking Glass film, which I think is coming out next month and some of these colors are really really lovely this pink one is called mad for madness sake then you've got this sort of dark fuchsia which is what's the hatter with you this beautiful shimmery gold which is a mirror escape an electric blue which is called fearlessly alice which i actually think is my favorite shade out of all of these i love this so much and then we've got this sort of pearlescent colour which is called Oh My Majesty. Um, this really gorgeous red which is having a big head day. Pastel purple which is called I'm Gown for Anything. And again this really lovely powder blue which is called The Eyes Have It. As well as that they've also sent me a special edition colour which is like a grey with little strands of silver in it. And this is called What Time Isn't It? Eight, eight. There we go. Lots of new shades from OPI. How am I going to decide what colour to paint my nails after this video? The next few things are from Benefit and they are new Hula products. Now Hula is, I would say, a lot of people's staple bronzer or contour shade. Personally, I love it. I think it works really, really well. And they have brought out these Hoola Zero Tan Lines for Body. 
the, uh, the Believable All Over Body Bronzer. Sounds good to me. I just love benefit packaging. Like, look at this. Oh my God, it has a hula skirt. It has a freaking hula skirt. So it just says squeeze gel onto sponge. Where's the sponge? Oh, okay. That's such a cool concept. Okay, so you have the product in here and this screws on, so this is the cap. But then you pull this off and you've got a sponge. And then I'm guessing, so nearly just spilled my apple juice everywhere. So I'm guessing you squeeze some of this onto the sponge and then you can kind of work it into the body. That's so cool. I'm like really impressed with that. I love when it starts getting to spring and summer and all the like makeup and like beauty collections become really like summery. Like this is such a summery product. It makes me so excited. So as well as that, they also have a hula bronzing and contour brush. Wow. Oh, it feels like really nice quality. Look at it, it's like bamboo. And then it has like, green tips it's so soft i love that and we also have do the hula again it looks like a little piece of bamboo rose gold bamboo my favorite kind bronzing liquid smoothing effects and lightweight texture melt in for a shimmerless natural look that's so sheer and seamless you get the glow without the gleam hula so you just smooth it over bare skin or over your foundation Cool, so I guess it's to give you a little bit more colour, just to bronze you up slightly. I am digging this packaging, I love it. Also have some new bits from Urban Decay, which again, is one of my fave brands. So the first thing is the Urban Decay Naked Skin One and Done Hybrid Complexion Perfector. So this is an optical blurring luminous finish in the colour medium light. It combines the benefits of a sheer foundation with the coverage of a tinted moisturiser and our high-tech weightless formula feels amazing on your skin. One and Done provides all day wear and covers a wide range of skin tones but the best part is how it transforms the look of your skin. Light diffusing spheres immediately help make flaws seem to disappear. Ooh, okay. So I'm guessing this has a light coverage. I love this packaging. I think I'm gonna need a couple of good skin days to properly test this out. But the um, formulation feels really nice. I can imagine this makes your skin look really dewy and healthy. Oh, it does feel like I have nothing on my hand. It's gone. It doesn't feel like I have anything on my hand. Wow, okay, I'm really excited to give that a try. Next thing we have from Urban Decay is their Beached Bronzer. Oh, look at the packaging. It's got little palm trees on it. I love that. And there you go. Really nice bronzer shade. It's matte as well, so if you like a matte bronzer, this is right up your alley, and it's in the shade Bronzed. And last but not least, I have a highlighter in the shade Fireball. I really like the Urban Decay um, highlighters. This is an afterglow highlighter. <gasps> oh. My goodness. I love that you're getting to experience my initial excitement over products. <laughs> this, this looks insane. This is an eight hour powder highlighter, but the color is so pretty. It looks like a peachy version. Oh my God. It's like a peachy version of, I am obsessed with this. It's got like an iridescent, kind of pink to it but it's peach so it's like the color is peach but the iridescence in it is like this really lovely baby pink and it reminds me a little bit of my tease blood of my tease highlighter from Estee Lauder which I wish they would bring out again Estee Lauder if you are watching this please bring tease out again in a limited edition or just bring it out as permanent because it's too beautiful not to and mine is running low but this kind of reminds me of it it gives like the same really lovely pinky highlight. <gasps> you can't see this on my hand, but just trust me when I say you need this. Clarins have also recently released some new products for spring, so I'm gonna chat you through these. The first thing we have here is Fix Makeup Long Lasting Makeup Hold. 
um, hydrates, refreshes and soothes. I would have sprayed this on me as a perfume because it's in this gorgeous glass bottle and it just feels very luxury. Um, but it is a makeup fixant, so you just spray this on your face, not on your neck for a scent. Next thing is a new bronzer. Now, I would highly recommend picking, if you are after a new bronzer, I would highly recommend picking up one of their bronzers that come out with their collections in the spring summertime because they are so beautiful and I do find that they just come out in these collections and then you can't pick them up again so the amount of times a friend has gone to me I love this bronzer or they've used it at mine and they've gone to buy one and they can't and I'm like you just need to get them when they come out because they are so lovely I have two of these from I think one from last year and one from the year before because I really really love them they're so beautiful but they also just give a really lovely kind of bronzy glow to the face and I think the fact that they're so big also means that you can really like I don't know I sometimes use it with a really big brush and sort of go over like my neck or my shoulders or my collarbone I just I don't know I love their bronzers I think they're amazing and this one is also no exception look how beautiful this is I tend to stick a brush in and just go through the whole thing but it does give you the option to take individually they also have these which are the ombre waterproof waterproof eyeshadow shimmering cream color I love things like this they make life so much easier when you want to do something on your eyes but you don't have the time or if you want to do a bold lip and you want something on your eyes but not much these are perfect or they make great bases so they've come in a couple of different colors but I have got 02 golden sand and 03 silver taupe both of which are really beautiful colors um, so check those out if you are around a Clarins counter I also have this which is the Clarins fix mascara it's actually a waterproof top coat for your eyelashes kind of like kind of like a top coat for nails which kind of sets it in this is for eyelashes so I'm assuming you could use this with any mascara and you just put this on top and it kind of sets it in and makes it waterproof but very interesting it also says that it's good for eyebrows too so I'll probably be using it for both but mostly probably eyebrows and the last thing which I was so excited for because you guys know how much I love the original but there is a new shade in the instant light lip comfort oil and it's this gorgeous like berry red oh my god it's called 03 red berry <laughs> I'm a genius or I have eyes <laughs> I can't tell you the love I have for these oh this has a new scent it smells like strawberry squash when you were a kid did you ever have those like square car square plastic cartons with like cellophane on top with like a brightly colored juice in it maybe at like kids parties and it would come with a really tiny thin red straw and you would smack the red straw through the top and drink the drink that's what this smells like that literally takes me right back to like 1995 at the school discos wait <laughs> that means i was going to school discos when i was five maybe like 1999 or the year 2000 these are amazing they feel so nourishing on your lips i'm really interested to see how much color payoff these have because the one i use is just a clear oil um, and this one obviously has um a slight stain in it so yeah i'm really excited to use that so those are a selection of the things I really wanted to share with you that I was really excited about. I would also love to know which one of these products you are most excited about too. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you want me to continue doing these videos every time I get a little stash of new things that I'm really excited to share with you and I can do that. I love you very much and I will see you again soon.